Hey everyone, welcome to Purling Through Life. My name is Melissa and I'm coming to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. I hope everyone is doing well. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So this is my channel and it's all about knitting and crochet and yarn. And today is a weekly update video where I like to share with you the things that I've worked on this past week. And today I have one finished object four works in progress and no acquisitions. So we will get started with my one finished object. And if you've been following my channel, you have seen this item in the past, although it's been a number of weeks since I've worked on it, but I have it finished now and here it is. Here is Ray the elephant. He is finished, although he does need clothes. And I am very happy with how he turned out. So obviously this is a crocheted amigurumi. Here he is, and here he even has a little tail. So I just love the way he turned out. Now I think that I probably could have stuffed his head a little bit better, and I don't particular, particularly like the way I sewed on his tusks, but overall I'm really happy with him, and he's cute. And Ray is a paid for pattern. You can find him on Ravelry, but you can also find him in this book called Dress Up Amigurumi. There he is. And let me show you the back side. So here are the four animals that are in this book. And I have made the bear and the elephant, um, but I opted to give Ray no t-shirt. So you can crochet it with, so here we go. Although I don't really want to show the pattern, but I'll just do like this. So you can crochet the animals with no clothes on, or you can crochet them with striped clothes. So that's not a shirt, that's an actual um, shirt that is crocheted onto the doll or the stuffed animal. And you can also, in the pattern, the actual pattern, Ray has on, as do the other animals, he has on a blue shirt. I can't see, but you're seeing. So he has on a blue shirt. But I opted to give him no clothes. And then the um, and then the rest of the book has quite a few different outfits that you can make. And my grand, this is for my granddaughter. So we just haven't decided what outfit we're going to give Ray yet. But isn't he cute? I love him. So Ray is made out of 100% cotton. I don't usually make my amigurumis with cotton yarn, but I have to say I really, I love how this turned out. I can see the benefits of cotton. It's just got uh, a lot more structure. You know, it's not as, you know, it's there's not as much give to it. So I think it came out really well. And so the yarn that I used, this is a new skein of yarn, but this is the yarn that I used. It is a Yarn Bee yarn. It is Pima Suprema. This is from Hobby Lobby. And I got this on clearance. I paid $1.49 for this. And I used almost two full skeins of this yarn. This is what I had left. That's all that I had yet left. So the colorway of this is Bone is bone and it is 100 grams 180 yards and it's a number four weight and it is 100 percent pima cotton so i used two whole skeins of this to make ray and then his tusks right here are made with this cotton this is i love this cotton from hobby lobby and i don't believe i got this no i didn't get this on clearance and let's see, it's 100% cotton, 100 grams, 180 yards. It's a number four weight and the color weight is white. And I used a 3.25 crochet hook. And here he is one last time. So Ray, um, I will link the Ravelry pattern for Ray if you just wanna buy the pattern. And I will also, I got this book on Amazon, which I'll also link that down below if you're interested in getting the book. So there is my one and only finished object. 
although you will be seeing Ray again because I do intend to make some clothes for him or her haven't decided or my granddaughter hasn't decided whether Ray is a boy or girl so and Ray is can my one of my daughter's middle name is Ray so Ray the name Ray can go for either a boy or a girl so when my granddaughter picks out an outfit and I crochet it up for her I will use Ray to model it and so you'll be seeing Ray again so there he is he's so cute Alrighty, so that is my only finished object. And so now we will get on to my works in progress. And the first one I will show you, I'll show you socks that I'm knitting. In fact, the rest of my works in progress are all knitting. So here is the first one. These are a pair of knit socks. And this is in a tea Doddles bag. And tea Doddles is Christy, I can't remember her last name, but she has a YouTube channel and she also has an Etsy account. And I can link both of those down below because she does make really cute bags. She picks out really nice fabric for her bags. So here is the sock. Oh wait, no, this, that's, this is not the sock. This is a hat. This is a knit hat. Sorry about that. So this hat is the Enchanted Evening Cap. And this is from Amy, and she has a YouTube cha channel called Happy Little Yarn, which I will link below. And here it is, the progress on the hat. You saw it last week. Now this is a folded over brim hat, and so that's what I've done. So I have folded over the brim and knit it. Hang on one second. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry about that, I had to take a phone call from my daughter. She was letting me know that my grandson was feeling much better. He has been sick all last week and over the weekend, but he did make it back to school today, so that's good. And let's get back to my works in progress. I was in the middle of showing you my progress on the Enchanted Evening Cap, and here it is so far. And this is a free pattern on Ravelry. I'm not sure what I said before, but this is a free pattern on Ravelry that I will link down below and it has got a folded over brim and that's about what I've worked on the past week. So you knit like six inches and then you fold the brim over and you knit it together and it gives this nice edge like that. And here it is, it's like double thickness so and it'll go over your ears and be nice and warm. So I really do like the way the yarn is turning out on this so pretty and I'm using a four millimeter needle for this hat and here is the yarn that I'm using and this is from cameo yarns I'll show you their label there's their label and this is on their Imperial DK base and the colorway is prim it's 230 yards for 100 grams and it's a hundred percent superwash merino it's just beautiful so i want to focus on this this week and get this done i can't wait to see how it fits i'm very excited for this i think it's going to be beautiful so there we go that is works in progress number one and we'll move on to the next one and these i will show you are my socks my knit socks and they're living in this bag from Cottontail Farms. And I did show this, this is progress from last week. And this is what I have done so far. So let's see. So this is where I was last week. I had just really started these so this is just the beginning of, so I do the ribbing and then I put a stitch marker there to mark the first row of just knitting. But this is about where I was last week. So I have done all of that. And this is a vanilla sock. And I knit my socks cuff down and I cast on 64 stitches and I'm doing a two by two rib. And I will have a shorty sock and I will do an after heel thought, after heel, after thought heel 
I haven't placed the marker, but I usually go about 20 rows and that's where I put the heel in because I do like a shorty sock and I just haven't done that yet. I just have to count 20 rows from there and that's where I'll do the afterthought heel. And yep, so, and then I do the foot, I do a Kitchener stitch and I normally do a magic loop. I decided to do DPNs and these DPNs are a 2.25 millimeter needles and they are the Knitter's Pride Zings. So there we go. I love how these are turning out. And the yarn for these is Mustache Yarns. And the colorway, well here, they come in 250 gram skeins like this. And the colorway for this is Old Ben. It's a Star Wars reference. And these are the perfect self-striping socks. So they are the must match skeins, which means they are two identical skeins twisted together. So when you get the yarn, it's like a regular hank of yarn, but when you go to wind it, they end up with two skeins and then you wind them together and they start at the same place and you have matching socks. So this is the one I'm using now. And then for the second sock, I'll use this one. So it makes it much easier. They just start right where they're, you know, at the same color. You don't have to cut any yarn away or anything like that. So it is 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon and it is 460 yards, 100 grams. So there we go. And so I did start these last week because of May the 5th, which is Star Wars Day. I'm a big Star Wars fan. There we go. And I think that's it. If I ever leave anything out, you can always leave a comment down below asking me questions and I will get back to you. So that's my second works in progress. And then my remaining two are both knit shawls. I will show you this one first. You've seen these, so both of these, you've seen them. It's This is just an update on what on my progress. So this is in another Cottontail Farms bag. And this is the Marina Shawl by Amba O'Brien. I hope I am saying that right. It's a paid for pattern on Ravelry. And I've basically finished, well, no, not basically. I have finished section two and I've just started the third section. So in this shawl, there are three sections. And here is my progress that I have made and it is very much scrunched up on the needles. Let me see. See if that helps any. There we go. Well, let me show it to you like you, if you're gonna wear it. So I have all of the stripes done. So it doesn't really look that much different than when I showed you last week, but it's it's bigger and it's so scrunched up on the needles that you can't really, you can't see. Is that better? I can't tell. Here we go. There we go. A bit better, I hope. So there it is. And as you can see, this right here, so I finished section two, all these stripes, and then the third section is another lace section, and I am like three rows into it. So I'm very close, because I think the last section, there's only 26 rows. So I, hopefully, maybe I'll, you, I'll will, my goal this week will be to finish this as well. So here's the first section, this lace. And then the stripes. And then there'll be more lace at the bottom. And I am using a 3.75 needle for this. my high high sharps interchangeables 
Yes. And let's see, so the yarn. Now I'm just using this yarn and for the last section. Oops, I will only be using this yarn. Um, it was just the third section where you had the two yarns together, but now the rest of the sh shawl will just be um, knit with this color. But here is the other color, these two colors. So this one is a Leading Men Fiber Arts yarn. Here is their label. This is on their showstopper base in the colorway Gothic Queen, and it is 463 yards, 100 grams, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. So there's that one. And then this yarn, which I'm all finished with, is a yarn by Passion Yarns, and here's their label. This is on the colorway Mocha Chino, and it is also fingering weight, 75, 25, 463 yards for 100 grams. And I'm wondering, I'm thinking this is on their beloved base. I think so. So there we go. There are the two yarns and there is the shawl that maybe I can get done this week. That would be good. So this is how you will wear it. It's just all scrunched up. And I'm probably going to have to get, I need more soak. I like the eucalyn. I don't have any of that. Uh, I need more eucalyn to soak this, all my knits. I, like, I prefer the eucalyn to the actual soak brand. Um, well, there's a fragrance the eucalyn has that I really like. That's the difference. It's not necessarily that one does a better job than the other, but the eucalyn has a fragrance I really like. But I need to get more of that, and I probably should get more blocking mats. This is going to stretch a lot, a lot. I can't even, just look, it's gonna stretch a lot, a lot. So I need to get more blocking mats as well. So there is that works in progress and I have one more. So my last works in progress is living in this bag by Toad Hollow and it is a knit shawl by Romy Hill. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And it is called Way Leads On To Way MCAL. So it is a mystery knit along and I believe there are three clues out but I am only on the second clue. I've just started the second clue so I'm a little behind but that's okay, let me show you the progress I have made. So if you are knitting this and you don't wanna see any progress, even though there are three clues out and I only have basically one clue to show you, just a few rows of the second clue, but if you don't wanna see anything, I'm about to show the shawl and my progress. So look away, but here we go. This is what I have so far and where the stitch marker is, and that's from Cottontail Farms, that stitch marker. It's got a little bird on it, isn't it cute? So where that stitch marker is, all the way up to here, is my progress. So essentially that's clue one. That is all of clue one. And then here is clue two with the bobbles. Mm. I don't like making baubles. I have to say, so there are baubles down here as well. I don't know how well you can see, um, but I will say my baubles got a lot better <laughs> up here, but that's okay. So there is that shawl so far. And there are, I don't know if I said this, but there are five clues total. And they come out, each clue comes out on Friday. So this Friday will be clue four, and then next week it will be the last clue. So I'm behind, but that's okay. And so this is a, this shawl requires two colors. Well, it's a two colored shawl. I guess if you want to do it all in one color, you could. Although I don't know what it'll look like, because I actually don't even really know what section two looks like, because I'm trying to just, like knit it and then see what it looks like. So I haven't, I've seen it a little bit section two. 
So, but I haven't really seen a full completed section two, what it looks like. I definitely haven't seen section three. So, but as of right, as of what I know now, you're, it requires two colors. And these are the two colors that I'm using. So I've only used this color. I've just used this color, but in clue two, it, there, this color will be incorporated into clue two, both colors. So there we go. Those are my colors. And these yarns are a Madeline Tosh yarn. So here's the, this first one we'll talk about first. Here is the label for Madeline Tosh. There's her label. And this is on the Twist Light base. It is 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. The colorway is pink mist smoke tree. And it's 474 yards um, for 118 grams. So there is the first one. And clue one just had this color. Clue two is going to use both colors. And here's the second color. And it's on the same base. Everything is the same, but the colorway is copper pink. And it is a bit of a speckled yarn. I don't know if you can tell in the center, there's a lot of speckles, um, or what looks like a lot of speckles. I don't know if you can tell. But then the rest of the yarn, um, it's just, it looks more lightly speckled, I guess you could say. So, but these are my two colors. And I have to say these are, I like all colors, but these shades are some of my favorites. And then the needles I am using are a 3.5 needle, my high, high sharps. So I love it. So nothing um, has been difficult so far as far as because she does a lot of lace shawls. So I've always been a little intimidated not having done much lace. But so far it's not been, nothing has been complicated. And each clue, um, when, she, um, when she releases each clue e each week, she goes on YouTube and does a live and explains each section, gives you some pointers and some help with some stitches. So that's been really helpful. So there it is the shawl so far. I'm loving it. And I love this yarn. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So that is all I have to show you this week. Like I said, I don't have any acquisitions. I do have a skein of yarn coming or a hank of yarn coming from Mustache Yarns. Uh, I told you last week they had a um, they had a release on May the 5th with some Star Wars yarn. So uh, mainly Mustache Yarns does self-striping yarn, but this is a speckled yarn and it, it was a pre-order. So you have to wait a little longer for that. So I haven't got it yet. So maybe by next week I'll have it and I'll be able to show you. And, but I'm not planning on buying any other yarn. Um, nope, I'm not gonna buy any more yarn, but that's all I have to show you today. I hope you're having a good week. It is Tuesday. So I hope the rest of your week goes well. I hope you had a great weekend. If you celebrated Mother's Day, I hope you had a wonderful day. Um, I had a wonderful day. It was perfect weather. We had a really good day other than my grandson was sick. That wasn't good, but he's better now. So that's good. Um, I'm rambling now. So that's all I have to share with you this week. So enjoy your week and I will see you next week. So until then, bye for now.